2011 Ford F-250 Crew Cab XLT with the Power Stroke 6.7 turbo diesel. Here is a very unique and rare truck. The fact that it's a 2011 F-250 isn't unbelievably rare, but it has a flatbed bale spike bed on it that is ready to go to work. Um, this is a great utilitarian ready to hit the road and do whatever you need it to truck. Um, very, very clean in and out. Um, clearly a truck that wasn't used for heavy use in the sense it was out in the field every day. It was just a truck that was used um, was something that somebody had pride of ownership in and used it as as a uh, tool as a piece of equipment that they were proud to own and be able to have to use. I'm going to try and do a quick video walk around of this one, show you the ins and out of it, show you the blemishes of it. Um, of course, it's a 10 year old truck with 195,000 miles on it, but um, just overall a very, very straight truck. The metal's all straight, the interior is very clean. Mechanically, it's extremely solid. And just, and just show you what this one particularly is. As I mentioned, this does have 195,000 miles on it, um, which sounds high for a 2011 model. Um, that's not too bad, it's right, right about average. Um, and, but more specifically, uh, the 6.7 diesel, that's just nothing for one of these. Um, this one runs and dries flawlessly. It's extremely powerful. And uh, it's just very, very, um, mechanically the way you would want a power stroke diesel. This one is finished in a kind of charcoal gray color. Uh, it's called sterling gray metallic. Uh, hopefully the sun will pop out here. Looks like it kind of is to where we can get a little bit of the metallic color. Just a really, really sharp color. Really, really sharp truck. Um, very, very clean paint all the way around. Uh, moving here to the front. Front end's in nice shape. All the chrome and stuff is in good shape. It's not all bubbled out. Headlights are still in good shape. Super duty, super duty. Uh, labeling there is still in nice shape. It really looks good. It does have a grid heater plug right there. Coming down the passenger side here, it's in good shape. You know, there just really isn't any major blemishes to this truck in the paint body of it. You know, you're going to have a few little small hairline scuffs like that a few little small water scuffs like that, but nothing major. The bottom end, the cab corners all, that's very clean. Hood and the top end are in good shape. Paint's very clean there as well. Check we have some reflection going on, so I'll try and get that as best I can so you can kind of see, but just very, very clean, shiny paint. Up again, the driver's side here. Very, very nice as well. So, as you can see, you know, the cab and, and top end and everything here is in good shape. The tires are in good shape. Um, they're very, very new still. Very nice, aggressive tire all the way around. A nice 18 inch XLT wheels on it. So, just a sharp truck. Um, but let's talk about this bed. Um, the, the thing that makes this truck so unique. Um, it's a butler butler bed. Um, you know, the bed overall is in decent shape. You know, of course the metal and everything is there. You know, it's starting to show some rust and stuff like that. Um, and some corrosion, you know, on it. But um, the paint paint uh, quality on these flat beds just they don't that's not that's not what the point of when they manufacture them is. They just have fantastic paint quality. It's they just don't do a good job prepping it or um, getting getting the paint applied. So I'm um, kind of kind of uh, not surprised to see a 10 year old truck with, with the paint you know, tipping off in a few places like that and some corrosion and stuff like that but it um, does have the, the toolboxes on both sides I do have the keys for those um, some, some good uh, storage there for whatever you need and then as I mentioned um, it does have the bale spike bed so this does have the hydraulic um, for coming down going up the spikes are back behind here so you're ready to go it does have a neck ball underneath the cover there and uh, your toolbox on this side has um, all of your hydraulic controls and motor in there so yeah as you can see you know the bed's not perfect as far as it's just all shiny and brand new looking but that's what's so great is you know if it gets scratched or dented 
you don't have to worry about it today. It's a utility, utility ready to go. Throw, throw bales back here, throw feed back here, whatever you need, and, and you're ready to go to work. So we'll go ahead and jump on the inside, take a look at that. Um, that's that's really where you can see the pride of ownership. You know, the interior is just in really nice shape. You know, it's gonna have a few little smudges like that, a few little wear points on the edge here. You know, a few little dirt dirt smudges here, or there, but just it's not torn up, it's not worn out. It's just somebody who really, really cared about their truck. You can see the cat or the side saddle and edges of the seat are in good shape, and uh, everything. It smells good in here. They have WeatherTech floor mats all the way in the truck, so it's kept the carpets underneath just brand new and uh, really, really improved that. Um, it does have all power locks and windows, power mirrors, which are the big towing mirrors. Um, your headlight controls there. Um, does have your cruise control and different uh, information controls here for your center center information there. Um, just just clean and clear dash, everything right in the zone. Just a super solid mechanically truck, like I've said. Um, I just love this engine. It's just a really, really good engine. And it's just sitting here idling perfectly. Runs smooth, run down to the road, 60, 80 miles an hour, it doesn't matter. Smooth, quiet, um, just, really really good I'll go and do a quick key cycle here so we can see it start up as you can see it just fires right to life and, and it is a, a very very smooth engine um, just yeah like I've said it's just really really one of my favorite diesel motors out there really runs great um, your radio here does have a CD player with an AUX input down there um, climate controls heat and AC is ice cold your shift on the fly four-wheel drive with your locking rear differential uh, your factory trailer brake here is the controls for the um, bail bed in the back and it works perfectly fine I don't think I'll be able to get a shot with it working, but um, goes fully up and down, full motion, perfectly fine. So, um, like I said, it's, it's ready to go to work. Go ahead and take a look at the back seat here. Uh, it's in nice shape as well. It doesn't look like the back seat was used a lot. Um, does have uh, the full coverage mat back here as well. Like I mentioned, it's in good shape. These seats do pop forward, so you can have cargo space um, or storage space underneath those seats and all that, but um, just, yeah, you get in the back, there's lots of leg room, lots of space to work with. You look at the front, the dash, everything there is in good shape. The passenger side seat's in good shape. Once again, that WeatherTech floor mat. Passenger side rear, rear is in, looks like we have one small little tear there on that side I just noticed. Um, but other than that, it's in good shape in the passenger rear seat. So um, just a very, very clean truck. A truck that's um, somebody's taking pride of ownership in. Let me pop the hood so we can take a look under the engine bay what's going on there this is about a 350 360 horsepower um, 6.7 power stroke diesel I think it's pushing about 750 pounds of torque um, of course the sky's the limit from there you can always modify these and, and push a lot more power but very very clean under the engine bay here yeah, it's not all greasy or grimy Dusty, dirty, nothing like that. Uh, all the fluid look good. Full uh, transmission fluid looks good. Engine oil is, looks good. Um, you know, it's, it's fresh and clean under here. It performs just the way you would want it to. And it's really just a track that, that can be used for whatever you need it to. But it's got, got some special, uh, special things with the flatbed to uh, make it even more specific if you have those specific needs. So, if this truck is of interest, uh, feel free to get in contact with us quickly. Um, I don't anticipate this one lasting long because it is um, already been one that people stop to look at and be like, wow, that's that's a truck that is ready to go to work. So um, just let us know how we can help. It's Miles and Brad Beckman here at Eagle Care Autos. Brad, he's my dad. He's the owner. We're a small family dealership here in McPherson. Um, I'm Miles Beckman. He and I work here together. And uh, we look forward to serving you in whatever way we can, whether it's on this truck or something else. Find us on our website, EagleCareAutos.com. Subscribe to us on YouTube, like our Facebook page, and follow us there. And just let us know how we can help. So thanks so much for watching.